Well, good morning, folks. Yeah, I kind of feel like a drowned rat now after getting the long-awaited uh, windows and doors down here. Still missing one window that still hasn't come in yet. I really can't believe the uh, supply chain this year. But yeah, as, as you see, I got a couple of the doors, or the two doors for the building, and the three front windows, so... So I'm not going to get wet today. I think I'm going to install these front windows and the uh, two doors and I'll be under cover most of the day. If it lets up, maybe I can walk around and put some more windows in the rest of the building. So stay tuned for all that guys. Just a quick note. As you notice, I've uh, been doing a couple of videos on Wednesday. I'm not putting them under a cabin build or anything, but they're just kind of reviews. This kind of my way of giving back to the community that actually watches this. So, last week, uh, LaRue Douglas won that uh, Gulu battery jumper. And probably next Wednesday, I'll do a review on the Blue Eddy EB55 700 watt uh, power station. As you see in the background, there seems to be a building on a trailer back there. And, uh, I'll probably put that video out of us moving it and trying to get it set up uh, maybe two weeks from now, a week from now, somewhere in that area. As I said in the previous video, they make this stuff in uh, a nine inch. But I happen to have all this in my storage shed, so I figured I'd burn up what I had before I go and buy new. And this is just a self-adhering flashing. I'm going to try to keep all the any moisture. Off the sills by using that. I also said that uh, a lot of uh, builders will stick a piece of cedar, tapered cedar siding, beveled cedar siding on the sills of these to get a positive flow outwards. But windows nowadays are so dang tight if you seal them upright the first time, they should never leak anyhow. I'm going to run this up the corners a bit. This isn't the uh, flexible stuff so I'll have to just cut the corners but that's not a big deal they make a flexible and you can actually bend it around corners outside corners and stuff okay then what I'm going to do is just set it on the sill here run it up the side a bit and I'm going to leave about an inch inch and a half lap running down because I'm going to put the uh, three and a half inch trim around it I'm going to get rid of that stuff because I already cut the edges off of it. Okay, and then just split the corners. Like I said, lap it about an inch, inch and a half. Because this is short, I'll put a four inch piece. This is another product by Grace. Similar to the uh, ice and water shield that I love so much. This stuff is plenty sticky and does a dang good job at sealing to whatever you stick it to, including itself. Basically all I do for my sill treatments and as you see, I just drop it down an inch, inch and a half, turn it around the corners. If I had the flexible stuff, you could actually bend it around. But I don't, and I'm not going to buy it, so this will work. Now the window flange will cover all this area. The other three sides, 
end up taped on the flange and probably caulked in place on this one. And then when the trim is on it, I actually, I'm not going to do it on the inner ones because the water will never get to them. But uh, I have to take a saw and cut across the top of the trim in this scenario and put a piece of flashing and then caulk that into place. You go about halfway or half the distance through and then you slide a piece of of a flashing cap in there and that actually qualifies for this style of building. Okay guys, these are the uh, Geldwin best series of uh, vinyl windows. I really wanted to put a clad window on these but the, the price was just too prohibitive and I guess Marvin are up to 12 weeks out now. I imagine Anderson's probably similar. I like to put a a little bit of a shim underneath the uh, two corners. That way when I spray foam around the window I can get a little bit underneath. And I also like to put a small bead of caulk where the nail flanges go. Center it up, and we'll pop a loose nail in and put a grab the bubble stick, and we'll just make sure she's in the ballpark real good. That is perfect. One other thing I kind of like to check out sometimes is just the square on the window. That is perfect also. This is four inch trim. And even if I stuck it in there tight against the, I'm going to still be right at about uh, three and a half, and I don't want it to show. So I'm going to trim a half inch off of it or so. I'll get it stuck up on there first. Now this uh, tape is going to help with uh, more of a draft situation around openings than moisture on this scenario because uh, you're still going to have some of the gaps underneath underneath the uh, battens. But if I don't do it, somebody will make a comment online about doing them wrong. We all know how that goes. Everyone's a better builder than the next guy. There. We got the flashing, the coat behind the flanges, and the uh, sill flashing on. Then all I have to do is uh, clean up that cedar I was talking about, and then uh, wrap these windows in that. Hey guys, I'm going to use this uh, door threshold tape. It's got a sticky side that goes down and then a uh, nice foam.
top layer so the door sets firmly in it. Help prevent drafts and stuff. Most of the time I use caulk. We're gonna try this product out. Now just shim it to where the reveal is pretty much the same all the way around. Okay, so after uh, I get the door set in place and uh, the reveals all look pretty good, I just open it up. Pull a hinge screw. Yeah, I like driving a nice long one in. And where the lock cycle is. I stick a shim behind. Lift up the weather stripping. Get a screw in there. Making sure the door is tight against the wall. There. One door down, another one to go. Although I still got to pull the brick mold off of this. And then uh, I'll replace it with the same style of trim, which is going to be that three quarter inch flat stock of that cedar that I'm going to use around the windows. Just so everything kind of matches nice. Oh. On with some more. Well, so how many people thought I was going to drop the window on that one? Coming up over the top of that ladder, I almost thought I was going to for a minute. Well, you guys, as you see, I got all the windows in the background there, along with the door. I've got to uh, plane that cedar down, or clean it up a little bit with the planer. And then uh, rip it down to three and a half inch for trim around the windows and doors. Yet to do. Still waiting on one window here. I got that upper window in. Left the ladder there because I got to still trim out the windows and doors, like I said. So I've got all the windows in the front now. As you can see, along with the doorway. I got to pull the brick mold off that door and then wrap it with the same cedar that I'm going to do around the windows. Turn the corner there a bit. I got that window in also. And on top of that, uh, 
the company that sells that cedar for the soffits called. So I got to run and go pick up my soffit material. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty busy weekend. But in the meantime, I got to go plane some of that cedar down a little bit to clean it up and start ripping it and making a trim for the windows. Yeah, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day just doing some site clean up here. It uh, got a little piggish again. I thank everybody for watching these videos and uh, the comments and stuff. I try to respond to all the comments, although I'm not always real quick about it. But uh, until the next video, guys, I hope everybody's doing great out there. We will see you on the next one. Take care now.